Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, June 18th, 2021. Well, my goodness, if you were like me yesterday, you were kind of scratching your head wondering what in the world is going on here. Well, um, it appears that China decided to release, They at least they have a plan to release um, reserves um, and uh, several of the metals, copper, aluminum, things like that, that created a dollar spike, which also affected virtually every commodity out there. Inflationary, if you were following along with the inflationary trends like I was, and I think most people were, they all got crushed yesterday. And then we saw the tech giants just rally hard and almost exclusively just the tech giants really rallying. So kind of an interesting day to be sure. So how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up. Let's see if we can get some information out of these charts and see how we might want to approach the market today on Friday's edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. Thanks for being here. I do truly appreciate it. A huge sound shout out to those folks who um, have been clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving those comments and supporting the channel with a buy me a coffee link. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. The channel is growing and um, I am so humbled by that. Thank you so very, very much. Let's take a look at these charts and see how we might want to approach the market for today. Yesterday was very, very interesting in the fact that the Dow um, really had a rough day we followed through if you noticed on uh, we broke we broke uh, the 50-day moving average um, on Wednesday and you know the critical factor that we talked about is will it follow through or if we bounce up can we pop right back above that well yesterday the technical damage that was created is we actually followed through to the downside um, and actually at one point pretty substantially followed through to the downside, um, leaving some pain and some technical damage here in the chart. Let's take note of our short term moving averages are starting to move down and let's also take note that, that 50 day moving average is starting to flatten and possibly even turn. Watch that pretty closely because if the Dow does rally back, we're going Going to want to watch this area right in here as we rally back for that possible failure at the 50-day moving average and that could signal some real problems in the chart now I usually say I say this all the time to members of right way options when we start a sell-off if we start a sell-off it's never that first wave down that first wave down can be shocking it can be painful it can be uh, damaging to your account but it's that rally back failure at a lower high. That's where the real selling can come in. So, so far, this is ugly and it may be a little bit painful uh, for those of you trading Dow stocks right now, but it's not tragic just yet. The, the tragedy will occur on that rally back failure if that happens. If we were to rally back and continue down, that's where the real sellers will come in. And I will tell you that any time I've ever seen a market top, um, it takes quite a bit of time to develop. A lot of people think this is, this is the ugly period and it's really not. And you'll see folks rush in and buy the dip. And that can be perfectly fine uh, for a long period of time. But then there'll be that time when we will rally back up and be unable to make that higher high and then the market starts down. So be really careful with this one. This is a substantial break of that 50 day and showing some pain here in the diamonds. Now, having said that, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. I'm going to jump straight to the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ is completely opposite of that. And it's really interesting if you take a look, um, you go look at a heat map from yesterday, and you're going to find that this was almost exclusively lifted by the tech giants. The tech giants um, encompass so much weight. 
um, in the market, it is substantial. Oh, well, it's, it's amazing that we can really move just a very select few companies and keep the market um, largely moving up. So watch this closely. We have a really bullish pattern here where we broke through resistance highs and a bullish pattern right here on the day. Now we see futures this morning actually pushing a little bit lower and um, if we are to continue moving higher we need to have these tech giants hold up. Um, Katie bar the door should those tech, tech giants um, join in on the selling like we saw a little bit yesterday how we dropped really fast in that selling that whipsaw yesterday in the queues if if they start to sell off um, watch out if that supports the rest of the market um, that is showing some bearishness this morning uh, be really really careful now note that the qqq is still holding this trend so right now there's no particular there's nothing in this chart that suggests that could occur but just realize or remember if if those basically seven to nine tech giants start to slide south it may be very, very difficult for the market to hold up. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY has an interesting thing going on here in that the SPY, 40% of the entire weight of the SPY is made up by just seven companies. Um, we've got the Facebook, the Apple, the, um, the Google, um, Tesla, those in there that are making up the majority of the S&P 500. And if you checked out the heat map yesterday, you would have seen that it was tech and virtually tech alone that was lifting um, the SPY or holding the SPY up yesterday um, with tech um, doing all of that work. Now, the thing we want to make note of here, and I'm going to go to a different chart to show this. The thing we want to make note of is that we rallied through. If you guys remember, we popped through, we set those new record highs in the SPY, and then we kind of pushed back a little bit of a rejection of that price. Now, yesterday we tried hard, tried hard with those tech giants to push um, the SPY back up through that level but as of the close, it was not able to do that. So we have a technical break of this um, support that only held for just a little bit of time. Watch that closely. If that follows through to the downside today, that could be a technical problem here for us in the market. Now let's keep in mind that it's not, it's not just, you know, um, everything has gone bad all of a sudden. It's not the case. Notice that we're still holding above our 50-day moving average. I would not at all, if, we, if the selling picks up and if we see the techs start to pull back, we could easily test that 50-day moving average here in the SPY, possibly even uh, push through it if those techs join in on that selling today. So watch that carefully and closely could be a little bit painful if that starts to happen. So um, just keep a close eye on that. But overall, I have to say, um, there's not a whole lot of worry here in the SPY unless we break down through that 50 day and then follow through to the downside. We can break down, we can even break through and then bounce right back up and overall hold this trend to the upside here in the SPY. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has a set of complications here as well. Notice that if we take a look at this high, we have not been able to break through that high up there. And um, not only that, we left a failure here to make a new high, and then we followed that up with another lower high failure. And let's kind of keep in mind, if we take a look, how does a trend begin, guys? A trend begins with a lower high followed by a lower low. So that possibility that we could be running into some technical problems here in IWM with that little pattern. But at the same time, if I were to push this down here, we held yesterday, we had that substantial rally yesterday. We came very, very close to testing the 50. We had that substantial whipsaw yesterday that rallied back up and we ended up closing the day 
above that level of support. So if we can push back up and hold in there, we might be able to rest in here and then get back into the business of going to the upside. However, if we were to fail, and today if we see that pressure coming into the market, if that pressure pushes us down below the 50 day moving average, follows through on a failure of that price support, that could be a little bit of a problem for us. So we're right here, kind of hanging off the cliff edge here in um, IWM, and I'm not exactly sure what will happen next here. So be very, very careful today in your trading. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, early in the day shot up and we pushed above that 50 day moving average. And then as we rallied back toward the end of the day with, with remember, and it was just, it was just a select few companies that were rallying with the rest um, largely down. Um, we pushed this back down below that 50 day moving average. So not a lot of fear here in the market. Now, what we may be starting to experience is a little bit of market complacency where we kind of get the idea that the Fed's always going to take care of us. Nothing bad is ever going to happen here and that, um, we're, we're getting complacent that, um, the markets could eventually turn south. Now, with that said, we're not seeing a lot of fear here but we are going to have to stay on our toes and watch this pretty closely. We are, if here, let me throw some lines on here. We're holding this price support in the VIX and I think that is good. And we're holding underneath this price resistance in the chart. I think that is also good. But we do want to recognize that we have this little downtrend right here in the chart. And that downtrend right now kind of popped through um, that upside um, pop through that downtrend just ever so slightly. So if we were to hold up in here, you could see how that could build a little bit of energy for a little bit more selling into the market. Not saying that's going to occur, but we do want to be watchful for that possibility. So keep a close eye on the VIX. It could be very telling um, if fear starts creeping back up in the market or not. Let's take a look at our T21. 22. Now yesterday, everyone has to probably say, my gosh, that intraday whipsaw sell was kind of painful. Well, keep in mind that whipsaw selling didn't quite make it into the, bear, the bearish or excuse me, the bullish reversal zone, which means we still may have some downside opportunity um, in the market if those bears can find that inspiration and they are looking that way this morning, looking for a little bit of a push lower we could drop down into this uh, bullish reversal zone. Now what that means is, is that is it just a short term oversold condition. And if we can drop down in there, you can see we drop down in there and bounce up. We can bounce off of these upper levels up in here, bounce off of those. Just that oversold uh, condition that occurs um, in that short term and we make that bounce back up. So keep in mind, we do have that opportunity that those bears could push us down into here. The question really becomes, I think the question is going to become, is what are the big techs going to do? If the big techs hold up, I think we'll come down in here, we'll bounce off and we'll just come right back up. If those big techs join in, um, it could get ugly. Um, so let's hope that doesn't occur. Let's hope those big techs remain very, very strong um, because um, if they join into the selling, it could really turn pretty brutal today. Um, so watch that closely. Now, what you want to also notice is that if we can find some bullish inspiration, then there we have opened up this great big upside opportunity um, in the chart. So we've got plenty of room to move to the upside if we can find that inspiration. Let's take a look at our T21. 01. Now T2101 saw a little turn to the upside yesterday. It was a little bit of back and forth. Uh, one of the things that was interesting about it is T2101 was really starting to show that perk, that perk up on the selling wave. And as the buyers came back in and stepped back up, it kind of pulled back a little bit. So watch that carefully. We don't want to see um, market breadth actually really starting to spike up or increase on selling waves. We need to see that spiking up on buy waves. 
So far we have not seen that and we continue to remain in this rather weak um, low momentum position here in the market. So just be a little bit careful and cautious here. Um, if this really, if, if sellers really were to come on, if tech starts to slide, we could see that um, momentum really start to perk up and that market breadth on the sell side of the market come in. Hopefully that's not the case, but just stay, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Make sure you stay focused and flexible. I don't want you to be caught in that big, ugly reversal to the downside that may be on its way, may not be today, but it may be on its way. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar um, doesn't have anything to really be made note of here. We have the Baker Hughes rig count unlikely to move the market at all. One thing you do want to make note of though is today is quadruple witching. Um, so options, futures, all kinds of things will be expiring today. That can create an awful lot of price volatility. Um, and you just don't know where where that's going to go. As a matter of fact, my old mentor would say that is a good day to just shut your computer off and don't trade because it's pretty unpredictable. Um, with the volatility that we saw yesterday, I think that maybe adds to some of that unpredictability. So be really careful today if you decide to trade. So watch that closely. Uh, quadruple witching today. Then um, on our earnings calendar, we have, believe it or not, only three companies listed um, uh, on the earnings calendar today. And only one of them is a verified report, GLBS. Um, I would not say that that is an exact, exactly a... Um, uh, a notable stock uh, to be paying attention to. Um, so watch the, watch it if you happen to be trading it, but certainly not um, uh, something that you would think is going to move the market around today. So we have a market that's going to be rather uninspired by um, earnings or economic calendar, which leaves the market kind of to its own devices to um, make some decisions and move around. So be really, really careful. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then that bell icon when it pops up. So you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And then if you could also, if you feel that the video was worthy, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It's it's the um, it's the comments. It's the engagement with the video that helps the algorithm to show the video to more folks, helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you could be so kind, um, Saturday or excuse me, Sunday is my birthday. If you want to give me a birthday present, just click on that share button and share this video out onto your social media feed. That helps us continue to reach out to new folks and continue to grow the, the channel. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up and please keep in mind that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. And also with the volatility of the day, boy, these could shift and turn around pretty quickly. So be really, really careful here. Let's take a look. Um, IHRT, iHeart. This is a beautiful little chart running in a nice upside trend and holding up very, very well. Um, watch that closely. If this happens to have that opportunity, if we can get those bulls really starting to push into the market, there is that opportunity. This could continue this trend to the upside, iHeart looking very, very good. Very nice looking chart overall. Might wanna take a look at Fubo. Now Fubo, I, I do have I do have a bias here to let you guys know because I have picked up this trade, but watch this closely. Um, it has slid a little bit, you know, slid past this upside trend here, as you can see. And this volatility of the market has created a little bit of back and forth in here. But let's watch this closely. Fubo has that chance, if we can find that inspiration, to pop on through, kind of extend that upside um, in the chart. 
Um, if you look at moving averages, we're up above our 200, our 50 is trying to turn back up and cross back up through that 200. So I uh, keep a close eye on it, but it's looking okay at the moment in that opportunity that this may move on higher. Keep an eye on space. SPCE had a good day yesterday, perking up, even though the market was kind of funky. SPCE was pushing up yesterday, looking good. Watch that closely. Um, obviously, this is kind of a little bit more of a speculation stock. It's a high volatility play, but SPCE looking bullish here and may have some more upside potential in that chart. I think everyone should be keeping an eye on NIO. Now, NIO has been continuing to move up in this trend and looking pretty good. Yesterday was a nice strong day. And I would say maybe some price resistance um, right up in here could be a place we could be headed to test. So watch that closely. NIO, as you guys know, I've been talking about this one recently, continues to progress nicely up through that area. Let's take a look at Box. B-O-X. Box had a little bit of back and forth yesterday, but notice that this has broken through some price resistance in the chart. We're holding in this nice trend. And if we could find some bullishness here in the market, might perk on through to the upside. Now, once again, I want to tell everybody I probably have a little bias here because I am holding this chart, um, seeing if that can push on through. But watch that closely um, just in case that might get going. Um, to the upside. And then of course, the places that moved big time yesterday was tech. Let's take a look at Apple. Apple continue to reach up here. Now be a little bit careful here. Apple is a little bit extended in the short term on this upside move, but watch this price resistance up here as we approach it. If we can get a rest or pullback, could set up an opportunity in that chart. Microsoft also very strong, and I had mentioned this one yesterday as a possibility if that pulled back into this support. My goodness, it was strong yesterday, and that opportunity that we could soon break out to new highs in that chart. So big tech look, looking very, very good. Um, take a look at Google. Google is all set up here for the next upside move. Running up in that trend, consolidating along here, watch for that next opportunity for that to push on through to the upside. So there are a few charts for you to pay attention to, a few of them um, um, looking um, pretty darn bullish. So um, I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. Keep in mind, guys, if you um, leave some comments and questions, I, sh I will get to those today, but it may be a little bit later because I'm actually taking the day off. Um, and my son is coming to visit for Father's Day and my birthday. And so just going to take the day off and enjoy the day. I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. Be safe. Be careful. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the best. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. Take care.